So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing about how we combine all the rules for exponents in order to solve more complex problems. Now, when we use the rules, we must start by using the power rule, then the multiplication or division, then the zero or, exp or negative exponent rule in that order. So for example, let's say I have this problem here, two to the four divided by two to the three raised to the two. The first thing that we have to do is we have to use the power rule. So in order to use a power rule, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify this part of the equation first. So because it's power of a power, it turns into two to the three raised to two, turns into, well, the three and the two multiply up here together to get six. So now that we've got that, the next rule that we have to do, we just keep looking for it. There's no more power of a power rule in here. So now what we have to do is we have to use either the multiplication or division rule. So basically, these two, when you apply the multiplication or division rule, in this case, we're going to use the division rule, gives us an exponent of negative two on our base of two here. So remember, 4 minus 6 is negative 2, just by the division rule. Then what we use is we're going to use the 0 or the negative exponent rule. So if there was a 0, we'd have put one, we would have given a 1. But now we have the negative exponent rule. So that is basically this thing here. On your sheet, I've provided you some information as to how you use the, z the negative exponent rule. So this is one example here. If I have 2 to the negative 3 becomes 1 over 2 cubed, and then you simplify, right? And the same if I have 1 over 2 to the negative, to the 3 to the negative 2, we end up with just 3 to the 2. Okay, now... So that means we, we end up with this, the zero or negative exponent rule. And then we're going to basically simplify what we have as our basic exponents in each part. So there's no exponent on the one, so we leave it, but there is an exponent on the two. So now we just write two squared, which gives us four, and we're done. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take a look at the various rules that we had looked at, that we had created before. So on your sheet, you'll see something that looks like this. This represents the multiplication rule. If we have two bases, we multiply and we basically add the exponents that are on each of the previous two bases. For division, we subtract those two. For power of a power, we take those two exponents and we multiply them together. For the zero exponent rule, anything to the exponent zero is one. And for the zero or negative exponent rule, we have three possibilities. So if we have something raised to a negative exponent, just like a number three raised to the negative exponent, it ends up being one over three squared. For another one, if we have, let's say, 2 to the exponent 3, we can write it as 1 over 2 to the negative 3. And then if we have a fraction raised to a negative exponent, we basically flip the base. We flip the base. So let's say I had 3 over 2. I would change it to 2 over 3 and change the negative exponent into a positive exponent. Then distribute the exponent on each of the terms of B and A. And that's it. So that's where all of these examples are coming from here. Now let's move on to our problems for the day. So we're going to use the rules that we studied before. Okay. Every time you use these rules, I want you to go back to our original problem set, our original description as to what as to what rules we use, and use them to do each of these problems. 
So to start, each of these terms here have power of a power. So let's apply that right now. So 2 raised to 2 raised to 3 means that we have 2 times 3 gives us 2 to gives us 2 to the 6. And for our next problem, we have negative 1 and 2 multiplied together to give us negative 2. Now, now that we've done our multiplication, our exp power of a power rule, now we have to use the multiplication or division rule. So we have 2 to the, well, 6 plus negative 2. So 6 plus negative 2 gives us 4. So that's how we get 2 to the 4, which ends up being, well, 16. Now, let's move on to our next problem. The first thing that we do is we look for power of a power. Is there any power of a power? No, there isn't. So, because we don't have power of power, we have to go straight to our multiplication rule or division rule. In this case, we have division. So now, let's use it. So we get 2 over 3 raised to the, well, 5 minus 7. 5 minus 7 is going to give us negative 2. Now that we finished that, there's no more multiplication rules to work with. So now what we have to do is we have to use our negative exponent rule. So anytime we have a fraction, if we have it raised to a negative power, we flip our base. So we have 3 over 2. And instead of having negative 2, now we have positive 2. Now we apply our power to each term in our fraction. So we get 3 squared over 2 squared, which gives us 9 over 4. Now let's move on to part C. For part C, we have to apply all the rules at exactly the same time. Now let's apply our power of a power rule to 4 to the 0. So we got 4 to the 0 divided by, well, 4 squared, no brackets, so I'll just drop it, 4 squared. And we have times 4 to the negative 2. So now, from left to right, we apply all our multiplication rules. So, 4 to the 0 minus, 4 to the 0 divided by 4 to the 2. So that's these two parts become 4 to the negative 2. And then we're left with times 4 to the negative 2. Which... Now we go and apply the multiplication rule again, and now we end up with 4 to the negative 4, which gives us 1 over 4 to the power of 4, which ends up being 1 over 256. Let's move to our last problem of the day. So now you'll notice that each of these brackets has a base that's surrounded in a bracket. All right. We just apply the same rules that we did before. No problem, man. Easy peasy. So now let's go. So this is negative two. And we're going to look at this because it's power of a power. So negative 3 times negative 6 gives us positive 18. And then we're going to divide by negative 2 raised to the, well, 8 times 2, which is 16. Which means that all we have left to do is we have to basically just subtract because we have division here. So we have negative 2 all raised to the 2. And now remember, on your calculator, what you want to do is you want to write negative 2 in brackets, in parentheses, and then you're going to use the x to the y function, or the exponent function, or the um, y to the x function, or the caret sign hat sign on your calculator 
and then finally punch in the number 2. So one of these three is what you're going to use to punch in that thing. And so what you're going to get is 4. Because negative 2 times negative 2 gives us 4. Which will eventually give us 4. And we're done for the day. Your homework for today is page 369, number 8, 10, and 14. Have a good day.